Admittedly so, the, the I-25 iron is, is a, um, you know, it's, it's an evolution of the, of the I-20. We blend a lot of things. The first one here you can see is, is offset and heel toe length. Yeah, so one of the other things we, we progress through the set is that back cavity. So it does a couple things for us with these face stabilization. They get a little more deflection out of the long irons, progressively stiffer faces into the short irons. They also save weight from the face. And, and they also give you a, a little different feel as you go through the set too. We want the long irons to feel like you ripped them. And as you save weight from the face, now we can make that sole um, substantially wider. As we make the sole wider, we pull the CG further from the face. As that happens, the moment of inertia goes up or the forgiveness at impact. And as we move that CG back further from the, further from the face, we increase that, that dynamic launch characteristics or we get a more upward angle of attack um, for the golfer. So I, that increases the initial launch angle. We've moved our, our CTP structure lower in, in the face, so it's closer to the sole. And so that allows us to yeah, move some of that extra weight away from the face and position it high toe and low toe. We've also kind of cleaned up the shape of the short irons a little bit. So they're, as you transit, you know, the long irons, they still have a decent amount of offset, but we try to give them that nice balanced look. But then as you go down into the scoring clubs, the lines are a little smoother. The pitching wedge, the, the kind of heel height, that classic ping look where it has that captured look in the heel, kind of soften that just slightly to give it a little bit more scoring feel to it. Um, so that's part of the progressive set design as well.